All right, so I have the pulpit bar right here. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this attached to the front of the boat. All right, welcome back to another episode of Neon Swell. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'm sorry about the delay in uploads. I promise it won't happen again. Now, if you remember from the last episode, I started to create a bed for the outside of the boat. I sanded fiberglass, then backfilled a few more pieces of the support members for this outside bed. I then moved inside to work on the front Vibra shelves, which required a little fiberglassing and backfilling themselves. I also permanently installed several other components inside the boat, including the handrails above the galley and V-berth areas, but we'll go over that in a little bit more detail in the upcoming clips. So for now, just hang on to your seats, because you're about to start another epic episode of Neon Swell. Okay, welcome to the audio list episode number 23. All jokes aside, it was actually super windy that morning, so we're just going to have to do a little bit of a voiceover for these clips here. So I start with the galley tabletop that morning and create two more openings for some hatches. As you can see, I'm using extra thick foam due to the fact that, again, this is the poor man's boat, and I'm trying to use up all the extra supplies I have laying around. I then take you guys inside the boat to go over some of the things that we did in the previous episode. The handrails above the galley came out pretty well and are super stiff in their spot. I also checked the handrails up at the front V-berth and uh, those things dried in there super strong as well. I go ahead and show you the mount point for a possible hammock. Then move on to show you a few other mounts for the 5 gallon water jug tie downs under the V-berth. And lastly show you the galley sink drainage that we created in episode 22. I then circle back to the galley tabletop and show you exactly where the hatches are going to go and then continue on to cut the holes for the galley hatches. So you may have noticed that in the previous clips I had to go ahead and rip that thick Divinacell foam. I used a jigsaw for this and then followed everything up with a hacksaw. I'm not really sure that this was the ideal method, but it eventually worked in the end. I then moved everything to the back side of the garage in order to fabricate these Nidacore brackets that I created to help support the hatches when they're in their down position. And then moved the hatches themselves into the garage so I could fiberglass a few layers of 1708 onto them.
All right, welcome back to another day here on the boatyard. So yesterday I spent most of the time prepping and uh, creating support members for the outside bed extension that's going to go inside the boat where it'll slide into. Now I have these members all epoxied and uh, put together. Can't really recognize what they are, but this is it there. And so um, I'm going to have to go ahead and grind all this fiberglass off and uh, prep these to be epoxied in today. Now I have three of these members all in different spots of the boat, um, way back in the very back of the boat. So I'm going to go up ahead and epoxy these in today. So don't mind the fiberglass death that's epoxied onto these support members. I'll go ahead and grind these down and then place them into their spots inside the boat. But as you may have also noticed, I finished the galley tabletop that I was working on in the previous clips. Now what I also was looking at yesterday was the shelves for above the five gallon water jug holders inside the V-berth. So let's go ahead and take a look at those shelves and uh, see what we have to epoxy in today. So from the previous episodes, the five gallon water jug holders are right here. I have shelves built for above the five gallon water jug holders that I can store things on. Uh, later. Now I have to go ahead and epoxy these in on both the port and starboard side so let's go ahead and take care of that today as well. So I squeeze into the back of the boat to lay down a light layer of epoxy, then follow it up with some thickened epoxy to structurally secure the support members for the outside bed insert. I do this on both the port and starboard side of the boat. Now if you remember correctly, the bed insert will also double as a step down from the companionway, and you'll get a better idea how this is going to work in the upcoming episodes. I move from the back of the boat to begin the task of gluing in another shelf for above the 5 gallon water jug holder on both the port and starboard side of the boat. This will add just a bit more storage to this small 22 foot sailboat.
All right, so I'm back out here today and I'm trying to get out of the wind, so I'm ducked down a little bit, but I just added a stringer to the outside bed extension you see here. This is a foam carbon fiber reinforced stringer that will hopefully keep it from bending under pressure. I was getting a little bit of a, a bend when I used this thing as a step, so I, I reinforced it here with the stringer and maybe that'll uh, fix the problem. What I'm also doing out here today is uh, I got some hardware here. So I'm going to go take a look at where this hardware goes. I'm starting to add pieces back on the boat, so that's a good sign. And then uh, I have this pulpit here, the front bow support pulpit that I'm uh, creating. It's kind of a, a custom design, and that's going to have to go up at the top of the boat. So let's go ahead and take care of that now. Okay, so the pulpit is going to go at the top bow of the boat. Let's go see if we can uh, just throw this on there. And just like that, we got it glued on there permanently. This is the bow support, and I also have uh, screw holes drilled for the pulpit on the, the port and starboard side. And as, as we move up, I've already epoxied this on there. I didn't catch any of that on film, but you can see uh, I got the holes for all the rigging already drilled out. Um, it was a pain in the butt going back and forth, so I didn't really do a lot of filming. Uh, I've been back and forth to the hardware store as well, trying to get the right stainless to go on here. But let's go ahead and uh, see if we can mount the pulpit. All right, so I have the pulpit bar right here. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this attached to the front of the boat. So that wraps up episode 23. Thanks everybody for checking out this video. Be sure and hit that subscribe and like button on the way out. And make sure you come back for episode 24 where we add some more hardware to the boat. Thanks again for watching and if you have some free time, please head over to neonswell.com or become a patron to receive a few stickers.